Manny Montana, one of the stars of Good Girls. Ty Boogie, tell everybody what my favorite show is. Good Girls. <laughs> and tell everybody... <laughs> And tell everybody what my record is of TV shows in this room. She is 10 on 10. She's spot on. Uh -huh. First of all, hi, man. Hi. I'm sorry. This is all bugging me out. I know I'm going to keep saying that, man. No, I'm I love it. I'm here fan. for all of it. I'm such a huge fan of yours. You are? For real. I am a huge fan of yours. <laughs> it's borderline, I think, uncomfortable for people, right? <laughs> a little bit, right? So this is the... this. Is, let me tell you the story. Mm -hmm. Let me tell everybody the story. Tell it. So I'm, I have... I have picks. I have TV shows that be my show in the mm -hmm. moment. And I come in, I'm like, yo, watch The Night Of. Yo, watch yeah. whatever, whatever my thing is. So I come in and I say, watch Good Girls. Did you watch it? No. Still no, right? No, I didn't. Bastard. Why? I don't, I, time, timing. I got you. <laughs> but you're not, I, it's on the list. <laughs> It's anyway, Manny, I'm very serious about my recommendations. I appreciate that. You know, Thank I don't, you. I don't like to throw loose things out yeah. there. So we, st I stumbled on this show, uh -huh. and it's so funny and cute, and I, and I felt like I feel like there's a writer in the room that is of the culture. Mm -hmm. Are they? May, um, or maybe it's the actors that oh, convey what culture? that. Which culture? Are you like hip hop. Like I feel like. No, um, no. Or well, familiar with? maybe I've only. I mean, I really only know the the, the showrunner, Jenna yeah. Vance, who's awesome, Minnesota girl, and she's like, she's really cool. But yeah. I don't know if she like listens to hella hip hop. Somebody did the, the. I don't know their names in real life. The mm. actors, uh, the black family, the parents. Yeah. They did Slick Rick. That's right. When they did it. They did. There was a couple of moments mm -hmm. that were very authentic that really? I thought. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if it was the actors or the writers. I always wonder if they had to like go back and listen to it and like learn how to that song or if they knew it. But Reno is from New York. The 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 dad in it. Uh huh. He's from New York. He's from Brooklyn. So I knew he knew that right off the top. Okay. Yeah. I, I, that got got me right away. Yeah. But it's really funny. And then your mm -hmm. character, honestly. That's the one that got me locked in. Thank you. You're so good. Thank you. It's so weird to hear that because you never know. Like, I, I did it and I was like, I think people are going to hate this. I, I think Why? people are going to hate me. Just me being me, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if it's a way to like, to like soften the blow in case it does hurt and people don't like it. But I just always think that everything I ever do, if I get booked for anything, I'm like, oh, okay. They wanted me. All right. I'm always shocked. Really? Always shocked. So let me tell so the story is, is these three women, they're like suburban housewives and they go out and they're trying to, they all stumble, they have hard times, whatever. They mm. wind up going into like a, robbing a supermarket right. and then going down this road of like crime. So his character, Rio, uh -huh. who I'm obsessed with. Thank you. I've said that, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Rio is the guy the, on the dark side, uh -huh. right? Am mm. I explaining this right? Yeah, you should perfectly. probably explain it better No, no, no perfectly. You're doing great. He's okay. Great. But the thing I like about him is you are supposed to be like a, I don't a know. Crime boss, kind of, I crime guess. Crime boss, but like Mexican or sure. L.A. Something Latin. Latin, yeah, L.A. Yeah, I mean, the show's based in Detroit, so anything, whatever they have up there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it feels very Latin, Mexican, but whatever. Good. So, um, but it's so authentic. It's so, like, well played and good. Oh, and God. Your character is my favorite on the Thank show. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. This is, like, because it was, it was the hardest audition I ever had, and it's the hardest part that I've ever done because I did Graceland before this. I don't know if anybody ever mm -hmm. saw Graceland. I was just laughing and joking the entire time. I was, like, the comic relief on that. So to do anything tough, it's so the opposite of me mm -hmm. or anything that's even seeming tough is so the opposite of me. So it's just constantly being, like, angry on set in my head but also trying to be charming and it's a really weird thing so thank you are you, you for angry saying that. i mean you know he has to be intimidating to these girls yeah or else he's just gonna get run over you don't but there's some soft. charm to it yeah and then he kind of has a thing for the the leader i think yeah i think so too yeah and i don't I even know wondering. if that was written in but it came out well and they played on it so it's going good but yeah i'm just always that shocked. will keep you in the show too i hope so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a love interest will keep yeah. you longer on the show it was supposed to go a totally different route too but the writers kept going up and down on what was actually going to happen between me and her i'm glad they ended it how they ended it mm. and in case people haven't seen it i don't want to give anything away what i like sometimes like when people play like you're not really a gang member. You're more like a crime boss kind yeah. of guy. But anybody in that way, sometimes people overplay it. Mm -hmm. And it's like yeah. they're over being, like, over tough. That's what I mean. Or over street. And yeah. you are, like, so easy with it. It's just really, really good. Thank you. And that's what I mean. Like, I I'm from Long Beach. I'm sure you guys are from everywhere around here. Like, any hood dude you know, are they mean all the time? Like, you, every hood dude I knew was funny, laughing. Yeah. Charming. Because nothing was serious to them. Right. Right? I, it, yeah, it was fun. So that's what I wanted to bring to him. And I was I was wondering if people were going to get it. Because I'm always assuming people are like, no, you got to, like, we'll have certain directors or writers that, can you be a little tougher? Can you, like, like you know, like, mm. 
I'm like, what does that mean? Right. Why do I have to be like just growling all the time? Because <laughs> that's not really how it is. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I get that. So good. Anyway, so I heard there's a season two. Yeah, we got a season two. Uh, we so Ty Boogie, you can still August. catch up. It's only, you've only <laughs> yeah. missed one season. I'm going to catch up. Yeah, I hope you like it too, man. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if she it's your everybody, but I hope not failed yet. Stop Good. being so okay. negative, okay? <laughs> right, let's start. Let's I'm work sorry, on this. I'm okay? sorry. <laughs> what What else have it you is like? A lighter, what are the shows? It is a lighter show than I normally uh, go for. Mm -hmm. I usually do. I don't know what other shows have I. I there's a lot. I'm, I'm blacking out right now. You said what Nida. Are my shows? You, you said Nida, which was awesome. Uh, you put me on the seven seconds. Seven seconds. I didn't see it on Netflix. Yeah, yeah it's really good. It's really good. Really good. Yeah. The Good Girls is really good, and but it's lighter. It's not like it a. Is. It's not like a heavy like Night of or one of those type of shows. It's yeah. like a light, easy thirty minute. Is it thirty? No, it's an hour. It's an hour. Oh, it's it is fun. an hour. It's, it's fun, fun and relatable. I think people have these thoughts and we're kind of doing. It. I'm gonna be honest. If you weren't on the show, I don't know that I would be as really? into it. Really, Andrew, thank you, man. That's really true. That's awesome to hear. Thank yeah, you. yeah, my favorite character. So uh, whoever's listening, if, if you even think about <laughs> right. removing him second, third season, like, I'm gone. Thank I'm you, out. Thank you, means out. a lot to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so wait. All right. So anyway, so mm. I reached out to Manny because I was obsessed with his character yeah. on, uh, in, in, what was it, Twitter or whatever. Yeah, I posted Twitter, something. Yeah. And we became friends yeah. in the DM. <laughs> I, I, we were at the park, me and my wife at the park, and I was like, guess who texted me? And I showed it to her, and I'm like geeking out, and I text my, my one of my best friends, Chuck, who works in radio, who, who did radio with me in yeah. L.A., um, and we both were just like geeking out over it because I'm like, a, like legit a huge fan. Thank you, man. Yeah. But you you have like a radio background yeah, too, man, right? I started in radio. So when the intern came to to get me, I was like, oh my god, I started in radio myself. I, I interned at the Beat when it was still hip hop in L. A. Um, uh, what were you doing? I was on Street Team. Street Team for like two years. Shut up! Street Team. I love two that. years. Worked my way up. I kind of was doing the morning show on on the streets guy. And then, like calling in and yeah, all calling that? in and doing the oh, those are terrifying. <laughs> um, and then, like, uh, we had a new was is it Deep P the like production guy the one that program director on there. yes program director yes and they gave me and my friend Chuck a chance on air so we were doing like overnights two to six and terrified you know how it feels when you hit that on Give button me a it's break. like Come going on, do on. A talk no, absolutely not you're a professional actor man you should be able to do this uh, on the spot <laughs> we did that the show got sold they fired everybody and I fell into acting good for you thank you radio's tough it's hard <laughs> and you've been in so like in the best way you've been in so long and done so many things and like your books and everything it's just amazing thank you man yeah. it's been a long it's been a long good run i'm lucky though radio is hard for a lot of people i know but but acting is hard for people it is but i think you work uh, i'm assuming you work really hard at your craft and mm -hmm. what you put into it so i meet a lot of actors who i know don't work hard they think it's just memorizing lines and going into the audition and saying i'm ready it's so much more. Like mm -hmm. you gotta live in it when you're going into it. And like, even on parts, I see people always on, you know, on the sidelines, texting. They're about to roll. Okay, I'm ready. And they go and do the scene, and I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you just kind of? So like, what do you do? So you're like real the whole time? Not like all the time, but like, I know some people must not like me on set because I'm just quiet. I don't really talk a lot on set, but offset. We could talk and, and laugh and joke all day, but I just like to be serious on set. And I know it's not for everybody, but that's yeah. the only way I could stay in it. Because you're serious about your craft. Yeah. I got to <laughs> learn to be a little more nicer on the outside, though. Because, <laughs> no, it works. It yeah, works. Yeah, it doesn't work for a lot of actors, though. But but so then before this, you did Graceland. I did Graceland. You did a couple other things, too, right? A, You've a been working. A bunch of guest stars on a bunch of different shows, but Graceland was the first, like, series regular I was in. Mm -hmm. And, like, still, we all got together and had dinner the other night, and it was a big reunion. That's dope. Um But, yeah, it's been good for me. Are you still in the process where you're still going on di auditions, oh, yeah. and you're still, like, tr worried about your next role? Yeah. and It works differently for, like, minority actors. I could be, uh, my resume could be this long, and as soon as I'm off a show, it's like, I'll, I'll write back to auditioning. Wow. Meanwhile, and I, I don't want to make it a big race thing, but meanwhile, like, I have other uh, cast people that I've worked with who, as soon as they're off a show, people are, like, looking for them. Like, wow. my boy Aaron, who was on Graceland with me, he does, like, a, a lot of Broadway. Mm -hmm. As soon as Graceland was over, like, people were like, oh, I want to get him on this, I want to get him on this. It's just different for us. Yeah, no, I get yeah. that. But you're so good in this. I hope Thank people you. see it, and I hope people see that. I, I hope you work for a long time. Thank you. Me too. So I don't know if you want to talk about your personal life, but I, your wife is from Queensbridge. Yeah, she's from Queensbridge. So I already loved him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy tells me his wife is from Queensbridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is where we're staying right now, and I love it, man. It's such a, <laughs> like, it's all love, right? Everywhere we go, every time I'm in the building, it's all love when we go in there, and I don't know, it just feels good. So you spend a lot of time in New York? Uh, now. Yeah. Now I do. Now. Yeah, yeah, now I do. And, like, eventually I want to live here half the year. It's just the best, especially when I come in the summertime, man. Yeah. I just want to come. But in the winter, I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> no, it's I real. I can't even front. It is definitely real. Yeah. 
Well, I'm so happy for you that season two is coming. I highly recommend it. It's a fun, light, good, it's just a good show, but you will fall in love with uh, Manny's character. And I hope that you wor- keep working, man. Me too. Thank you. I'm, I, I want to interview you when you're on your like your fourth yeah. show, and we could be like, yo, remember when you came? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. No, thank you. you know what thank I'm saying? you. Yeah. Um, so what should people know about the show? Uh, people should know about Good Girls. Um, you know, it's three women that are dealing with something that I think a lot of people deal with, which is just being at the end of their rope and having to do whatever they have to do to provide for their families. Mm. Um, and like everything, it has a consequence. So uh, they do something, they rob a store, I get in the mix and I want my money back. I figure I could use them because they could get into places that me and my guys can't get into. Mm-hmm. Um, and the story kind of goes well and then unravels and goes well and unravels for the ladies. Um, and the cliffhanger at the end, I think it was a great way to end the show because now it just gives us a great, like, jumping, a springboard to yes. start the next season because nobody knows what the lead girl, uh, Christina Hendricks, is going to do. So that's it. You have a little time to catch up. You watched <laughs> the, all of season one. You got a lot of time. Yeah. No, no, just get on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very serious about my show recommendations, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, well, we're, what? What nationality are you? I'm Mexican and native, and like I guess I got some Irish in me. Yeah, I'm a lot of mix. Did you do one of those? Uh, I I did, but I knew DNA that before thing. then. Before <laughs> okay. the DNA, after the DNA thing, I'm like totally. Because you said that now. like somebody who did. Yeah. I'm 33 <laughs> percent this and that. No, nah, like my mom's side has like red hair and like blonde, and then my dad's side looks like Indians, and right. It's just a lot of mix. Good. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on the you. show. Thank you for coming by today. Good girls will be back season two. Make sure you check it out, Manny Montana, everybody. Yeah. Power 105.1.